first, just super excited to to talk about our team and the progress that they're making. Uh, we've started conference play the last two weekends four and one, uh, which is including a 2-0 start in the first weekend, which is the best start to Summit League conference play that UND Volleyball's ever had. And so we're incredibly proud of our athletes for the growth that they're having and the progress that they're making. Um, those four victories included a win over St. Thomas as well as Kansas City, which were the first program wins ever against those two teams. Uh, and again, super proud of our team um, for the, the gains that they're making on the court, in the classroom, uh, and in the weight room as well. Um, it seems that we've more consistently been able to have multiple players playing at uh, or near their best more consistently over time. Uh, and I think one of the things that's really exciting about our team is the balance and the depth that we have, uh, that we're able to go out and put a variety of different players on the floor that are able to contribute in a large capacity uh, in multiple roles. Uh, I think you look at a lot of the teams in the upper half of the Summit League Conference in volleyball, and they've got one athlete who's taking a pretty large load for them offensively, um, whether it's Junkie for South Dakota or Crystal Burke uh, for South Dakota State, uh, and a lot of athletes like that. And I think one of the things that makes our team really exciting is that we are super balanced offensively. Um, they were able to distribute that load quite well. And so we've got different athletes that are stepping up at different times, like Sierra Ward and Ashlyn Olson and Elizabeth Norris and Marissa Stockman uh, and Sophia Ordquist and Paige Barber have all done a great job at different moments in time. Um, so that's, that's kind of where we've been for the last two weeks of conference play. And this week, we've got North Dakota State down in Fargo. And we're really excited to play a talented North Dakota State team. Uh, they probably have the best combination of outside hitters in the conference right now. Uh, they're 5-0, and oh, having beaten South Dakota in five on Tuesday. Um, and have been doing a really nice job. And so we're excited to go down there with a, a nice, positive crowd down in Fargo uh, and compete against another really good team. So that's what I've got for you for right now. We'll open it up. We'll open it up for questions. Are you guys using Norris in a different way at all this year? Should be more offensive for you guys, or you know, was that the challenge in changing that role? Yeah. So Elizabeth um, historically has just set uh, for the program, and uh, you know, one of the things that's really interesting about her is that she actually played middle blocker uh, when she was in high school, and is quite a potent attacker. And so the first. Uh, one of the first things we did when we got here was we wanted to make sure every player on our team was able to perform every skill. Um, and we want to see where maybe there are some hidden gems that we didn't quite know about. And Elizabeth has really come on. She still sets for us through the back row, but when she goes through the front row, she's now attacking for us. Um, so she's playing six rotations. and. She's been our kill leader in over half of our matches so far this fall, which is really exciting. Uh, and it allows her to provide value in a lot of different ways, both as a setter, as an attacker. She's digging a ton of balls. She's got a really potent serve. And she's quite athletic, so she's pretty big on the block in front of the opposing outside hitters. Um, and never hurts to have multiple setters on the court at the same time as well, um, which is also a nice little wrinkle that we have with Courtney Carney playing libero for us. So there are times where we have all three of our setters on the court at the same time, and it feels like regardless of the pass or the dig quality, we're always in system, and we're always able to find our attackers with a quality set. Was it a challenge for her to kind of rediscover that part of her game coming out of high school, or did, did she put it pretty quick? You know, I, I don't know if for her it's been a challenge in terms of stress. I think it's more been joyful. Like, hey, look at all of these things that I get to do and all of the different ways that I can impact the match. And, uh, I'm, I told her I'm pretty confident by the time she finishes her eligibility, she'll probably own the triple-double record for North Dakota because uh, every match she's either getting a triple-double or she's one dig away or one kill away from getting a triple-double, and she's just a, a statistical machine for us at the moment. So in the last week, with 3 0 sweeps over Will Roberts in Kansas City, both you and in the SU had 3 0 sweeps over yeah. those teams. So with both sort of coming in hot, what can you do to be able to keep up that streak, whether it's 3 0, 3 1, 3 2, get those sets in? Yeah, yeah. You know, I think one of the things I've been most proud about with our, our team thus far this year is that regardless of the result, win or lose, whether it's a tight match or a blowout uh, in either direction, uh, they just keep putting their heads down and getting better. And uh, I think that's a, a testament to who they are and, and how they're approaching this fall. Uh, that they just want to learn and they want to grow and they want to get better every single day in all the different areas that they possibly can. Um, and so we, we've had some pretty big moments for our program um, from where we've been to where we are now. And every single time we have one of those victories in the locker room, we debrief and we talk about it. And not once have they ever spoken about it being a win. They've said, hey, look at how much clearer we were with our communication in this phase, or look how much better we were with this part of our game. Um, and so for them, when it's just about the process and it's just about getting better, uh, then the wins are a really fun byproduct of that. Expectations coming in? Is this 
group exceeded those to this point or about where you thought they'd be or how would you describe that here at the midway point? Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I don't think anyone's expectations will ever match the ones that we have for ourselves. Uh, and our team is driven to go out and do something great and to do something that's never been done here before. North Dakota has never won a Summit League championship. We want to win a Summit League championship. And North Dakota never started 2-0 in Summit League play. We already did that this year. They, they never beat St. Thomas or Kansas City. We've done that this year. And, you know, we, we know that we've got some goals and we've got some places that we want to go, but the only way to get there is to put our heads down and get better. And we're continuing to do that every single day.